Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be going over the benchmarks for the Asus, or as, uh, of course, my friend uh, reminded me to say, Asus, because that is the correct way to pronounce it. Uh, Transformer TF300. Uh, first we'll start off with the Quadrant Test, and then we'll go to the 22. So, uh, one thing I have mentioned before on some of the other uh, tests that I've ran, is that the Asus, uh, or sorry, the Quadrant test, uh, I believe does not yet test out for a quad-core processor. So this one uh, runs fairly quickly when you're using a quad-core, so it's something to note. Uh, make sure if you're ever doing uh, these kind of tests too, you have the Asus Transformer on balance mode or high performance, because if you do have it on economy mode, uh, it will only use two cores, uh, which is cool and everything, but if you're trying to test out the full speed, of course, it will give you a lower score. So, something important to note. So, as I was talking, I went through most of them. Now it's already to the 2D graphics, as we can see. And now it's on the 3D graphics. So, this is test one for the 3D graphics. Go up the stairs, see the nice shiny, pulsy thingy. Now we'll see the planet spin. That is gravity, for those of you who don't know, you know, it's gravitational pull, you know. It's not celestial or anything like that. That is what DNA looks like. It looks perfectly blue and red. And yeah. Alright. And so as you can see, this device when compared to the Galaxy Tab. Um, as well as the Nexus, it shoots higher. It is 3577 on the Quadrant test. Alright, let's go to the next one. I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit. Assessing on the CPU. And the main thing that's going to be interesting on this test is uh, this benchmark tester does have the Asus Prime uh, saved away um, in terms of scores. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how it stacks up against its uh, bigger brother. That is one of the questions that I definitely have gotten a lot. Well, should I get the Asus Prime or should I get this one? Um, so while it's just loading, um, in comparison, I honestly haven't noticed too much of a difference in speed. This one did have a bit more glitches than the Prime had when I first uh, started using it. Um, however, it did already have an update. So if you haven't gotten that update, check for your firmware updates. Uh, that did solve most of my glitches that I had. Uh, so definitely just something to note um, that if you get it, you want to do an update, firmware update right away. Um, if for some reason you don't get it right away, then uh, just wait and be patient and you'll have it. But definitely I noticed just some glitches. Um, to note, uh, all those glitches happened when I had the keyboard docked with it. I'm not sure if the keyboard dock was an issue with it. I know the original Transformer had to have some updates to fix the keyboard dock to work properly with it and not have any glitches. So that's very well possible. Um, the funny thing to note is that this one uh, definitely has a better Wi-Fi and GPS signal when compared to the Prime. Uh, so it's definitely something that stands out in comparison to it. Uh, overall, um, the Prime, I would say, definitely feels better, uh, and it just has some uh, nice features overall in comparison to it. I do like the uh, lighter and slimmer design of it, too. But um, for the most part, I would personally save the 100 bucks on the Prime and put that towards the keyboard dock. Uh, but that's just me, uh, so it depends on if you really want like the f um, see how it fast uh, it is comparing to it, if that's what's determining yours. We'll answer for that question for you right now. How fast is it when compared to the Asus Prime? And it's about to finish up the last uh, test. It's at 
I must say, this is uh, definitely moving a lot quicker than the Acer test, so I'll be interested to see how it stacks up against the Acer 510 score. Which, if you haven't checked out that video, uh, make sure to check it out next, because I did just uh, do the benchmark test for the Acer A510 as well. Alright, so the final score is 94.98. And, yep, I'm zooming in enough for all you guys to be able to see exactly how it is right here. And now let's check out the bars. Oops. And as I did the flip, it looks like it changed it, but we still have it. It's okay, we're good, we're good. Now it's just loading. And so, there you have it. Um, it is still a bit lower when it comes to the Asus Transformer Prime. So it's definitely a little bit slower. Uh, let's take a look um, what it lacks in. So the darker blue and the sky blue, which does represent uh, basically CPU. So the CPU is overall a little bit slower in comparison to it. Um, and the CPU on this one is coming in at 1.5. Uh, interesting to note because the Acer a510 was coming in at 1.4, so um, looks like this one should be a little bit faster than when comparing to it. Um, but I'll have to look over the scores to remember to see which one was faster. But definitely uh, a cut above the rest, especially when compared to all the phones out there. But when it comes to the Asus Prime, um, the Asus Prime is still the king on the quadrant level, except when compared to, of course, the Galaxy S3, which is the current leader um, in uh, benchmark test. Alright guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.